Web Services Support in Java SC 6. So here uh, the, uh, we are going to talk about uh, the fact that web services can be deployed over a Java SE platform and we are going to see API that you have to use to publish your web service endpoint and then server-side programming uh, this is relevant on Java C platform and client-side is exactly the same so in fact there is nothing to be talked about here okay web services support on Java C6 platform so Java C6 contains a complete web services support so it does support JAX web services 2.0 and uh, data binding is included and uh, updates to JAXP, which includes stacks uh, for parsing and transformation. And uh, it does support all the standards that are being supported by JAX Web Services and JAXP. So SOAP 1.1 and SOAP 1.2, uh, Basic Profile 1.1, and XOP, and MTOM, as well as RESTful support, and totally XML schema. So anything that you can do on building web services over Java EE platform, you can do the same thing and deploy over Java SE platform. So why you want to deploy your web service over Java SE platform instead of uh, a server-based platform? Well, when you have a very simple web service uh, the, uh, and uh, you do not want to have heavy duty uh, deployment platform like a server then you can just deploy over Java C. So Java C provides lightweight deployment platform for web services for both SOAP and RESTful based web services. So Java C comes with the HTTP server very small uh, the uh, HTTP server so as long as you have HTTP server you should be able to deploy your web service. Okay. So the no, there is no need to have container-based server, which is typically heavy-duty compared to Java C. And uh, so, you know, this uh, Java C-based web service deployment is useful when you want to deploy lightweight web services uh, with a very simple instruction. You know, it's going to be just a jar command uh, or Java command. Okay, API support. Uh, the Java SE provides support for the JAX web services, uh, the uh, stack, and uh, the, for server side, uh, it does provide uh, endpoint class for publication. For client side, it is exactly the same that we have seen so far. So it's a service class. So this is again nothing much to talk about as far as the client is concerned. Client doesn't care whether your service is deployed over Java C or a server-based platform. Okay, as long as the server should be able to receive SOAP message and being able to send back response message, client doesn't care. Okay. Uh, on the server side, uh, for Java SE platform, because the container does not do the deployment, you have to provide the, uh, the endpoint class for publication, and that's something we're going to learn in the following slide. So server side programming model. So this is again uh, the, uh, the uh, um, bottom-up approach in which you are going to uh, create the Java code, and then you are going to generate the WSDR. So uh, this is a bottom-up approach. So we are going to create a POJO class, and again, we are going to use uh, various uh, the uh, web service annotation, including uh, at web service. And then you have to publish yourself. Okay. So when you are deploying your application, web-based uh, web service application over server container, when you do the deployment, that web application is actually being deployed over server container or EJB container. Now in the Java C, because there is no container, you have to actually, you know, the publish uh, the web service yourself by using this uh, publish method of endpoint class. Okay, so this endpoint class is provided as part of the JAX Web Services package, and then you're going to just call the static method called the publish to publish it. Okay, and when you publish it, WSDL will be generated. Okay, and then client should be able to access it and being able to access the web service. Okay, so publishing endpoint. So publish method can be used to start publishing an endpoint at which point it starts accepting incoming requests. So once you start, once you, once you perform publishing, then it's ready to receive the request. You can stop the public, you can stop the uh, web service uh, by calling stop method. Okay, so when you call, when you call stop method and then it will stop accepting incoming requests and take the endpoint down. 
All right, so publish an HTTP server embedded. So it's using HTTP server comes with the Java SC6. Okay, so by the way, so this is actually only working with the Java SC6 and above, uh, Java SC6 version 4 and above. Okay, so you cannot do this one with the Java SC5. Uh, support reasonable defaults for threading, and then uh, WSDL is uh, published with using the same convention. So the way that you are going to publish an endpoint is that you create uh, a web service using web service annotation. So let's say we have a very simple calculator web service endpoint. And then you are going to create this calculator object. Okay. And then you are going to use publish method. So publish, and then you provide the endpoint address. So this is the address that client is going to send the request to. And then you provide this calculator web service object. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Client's programming model is exactly the same, so there is nothing much to talk about. Okay. All right, so that is the end of the presentation. So let's take a look at the lab exercise. So here, let's go to uh, Java Web Services and Java C6 and index. Okay. Uh, so build and run simple Java SE web-based application, and uh, this is another application called the Supply Chain Java SE. Uh, this is exactly the same application that we built as a web application in our previous hands-on lab. Okay, so you know you're gonna actually uh, the uh, Java SE from Java SE uh, uh, six is again is the bottom-up approach. So let's actually just uh, import the project. I'm gonna just close all these guys and import open the project and I'm gonna go to JEX web services Java SC6 Okay, so I should be able to just run it. This is a Java SE application. Okay. Oh, by the way, I should actually stop the Glassfish. So you know, if you uh, make sure you have a Glassfish, uh, you know, stopped. Okay, because uh, it's going to be have a port conflict. So make sure you stop it. Okay. All right, so it has a net address already in use problem because a glass fish, glass fish was up and running on the same port. So I'm going to actually start it again since I uh, stopped the glass fish. So run it. Okay, allow access. So this is up and running. Then I should be able to actually, add, you know, I should be able to access the WSDL document uh, as a way of verification. So, uh, so you run it, and uh, you can see uh, the um, yeah. So basically, things are yeah. So this is actually what you should see. And uh, if you take a look at the code, uh, the uh, you are going to see is actually pointing uh, publishing, and it creates the instance of add numbers impl which contains a web service annotation and uh, then uh, so the uh, when you actually when you send the request to this like uh, about the 1990 stop okay uh, yeah so basically you know we actually also create the uh, instance of endpoint stopper so this endpoint stopper is another thread waiting some request on port 1990 and uh, so when there is a request like this, okay, and then it will stop the uh, endpoint, uh, the web service endpoint, okay. Uh, so yeah, we can actually take a look at the Java doc, and uh, so you can take a look at the web services, and uh, then we can actually access uh, WSDL documents. If you access this WSDL document, uh, you know, and that means that application is up and running correctly, right? Okay. Okay, so that is that, and uh, now we can actually create the uh, client application from scratch. This is something that you have done already before, so nothing much to talk about. Okay, and uh, the next exercise is uh, then you can stop the server. Okay, so now you know if I click this one, then it's going to stop the server. Okay. 
now if I try to go over here with this link it should not work because uh, now you know the uh, web service endpoint is uh, uh, the, uh, the shutdown okay so now if I do this uh, this should not work it should have a full full error like this okay there is no service uh, waiting for me okay all right so that works as expected now let's go to the next one yeah this is exactly the same uh, the uh, um, uh, application that we built as a web application so uh, again uh, this is the case that we have uh, this is endpoint address we want our client to send the request to and this is the uh, web service object okay so if you take a look at warehouse info you can see it is annotated with at web service okay so now if you go over here uh, WSDL you should be able to see the WSDL document okay uh, this one yeah this one you don't have to worry about it I assume most of you are using a later version of Java C6 so you don't really have to worry about it and the client code should be able to access it okay so uh, you should actually see this message all right so I'm gonna give you guys about 12 minutes and uh, then uh, yeah so I'm gonna give you 12 minutes and let's have 30 minutes lunch time so we will be back on uh, 55 the after the hour okay